Alright, I'm going to do a video debunking this lie that the Jesuits and the Catholics created the pre-trip rapture. I'm going to show you several different Catholic sources and show you the history of the pre-trip rapture and show you that the Catholics do not teach a pre-trip rapture and that it's impossible for, impossible for the Jesuits to have created a pre-trip rapture because all these Catholic sources teach a post-trib rapture. And of course, when I say post-trib, I'm talking about like, you know, the time of Jacob's trouble as it's properly called. The term, the tribulation, is not a title for this coming time period. But here's the first article, it's called BC Catholic, and I want to go over one of the things to teach right here. They're making fun of premillennialism, and, and they'll say, I'll just read it for you and refute what they're saying, because it, it's ridiculous how heretical Catholics are, but... It says Rapture's claim that God's kingdom is not on earth has not God's kingdom on earth has not yet begun in any form. Um, basing this off on their interpretation of the thousand year reign of Christ described in Revelation chapter twenty verse four, they believe what Jesus will will be, begin a literal thousand year kingdom reign at a third coming after the rapture. Because here's what Catholics believe: Catholics believe that Christ reigns through the church, the quote unquote the church. So they don't believe that Christ will literally set up a thousand year kingdom. And you're, watch how they twist scripture right here. Watch, like, I'm going to show you how these guys, they just t t completely twist Luke chapter 17. Uh, but even a uh, cursory reading of scripture clearly, clearly reveals that Jesus already established the, his kingdom when he is on earth some 2,000 years ago. Perhaps the clear, and watch how they twist this. Uh, perhaps the clearest evidence of this comes from Luke chapter 17, verse 20 to 21, where the Pharisees specifically asked Jesus when the kingdom of God was coming, and he answered them, The kingdom of God is not coming with signs to be observed, for behold, the kingdom of God is in the midst of you. In other words, it's here. Uh, no, it's not what it's talking about. What's what's the context of the passage you see jesus christ is the king so basically when he says the kingdom of god is in the midst of you he's saying that because the king is right there standing right in front of them he is you know because again catholics don't deny oh he's talking about the church no because jesus christ the king of them of that millennial reign he is there right in front of them that's why he, that's why he says the kingdom of god is in the midst of you he's not talking about how his kingdom is already installed he doesn't, it's not said anywhere in the verse. He's just talking about how it's in the midst of you, as in the king is standing right in front of them. That's, that's what the verse is talking about. So I'm going to talk about just twisting a verse. It's, it's crazy. And of course, Matthew 6.20, Jesus tells followers not to be wor worried about worldly needs of daily life, but instead to seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all of these things shall be yours as well. And again, it's not talking about his kingdom being already on earth. It, notice how it says, seek first his kingdom. You know, it, it's ridiculous how, they, how they're just twisting these passages. And then they go to Matthew chapter 16. Truly there are some standing here taste death for some man shall be coming in his kingdom. Again, what's it talking about? You know, it's not even talking about his kingdom being on earth. And then, uh, and then you hear Jesus not talking about establishing his kingdom only in heaven. I mean, it's ridiculous how they just... It, it's ridiculous. How, there's the twisting of these verses. But... You know, they talk about, um, what about Jesus' thousand year reign spoken of Revelation 20 verse 4? Rapturists, I like that, rapturists, argue if Jesus really did establish his kingdom on earth, then he would have first, when he first came 2,000 years ago, uh, it, should, uh, it should be over by now, but they insist this period of time must be a literal 1,000 years. Uh, that's what the Bible teaches. Uh, and it says the church would answer that Revelation is a highly symbolic book, you know, the church. And the numbers and periods of time symbolically throughout, you know, you get right there. Uh, a thousand years of biblical number. I'm just going to scroll down. Uh, Christians understand that Jesus' thousand year kingdom in Revelation 20 is symbolically a long period of time instituted by Jesus uh, at his first coming and is happening right now. Uh, where does it say that anywhere in the verse? I mean, they have to add the scripture to prove that. Uh, and you go all this other stuff, but again, they're they're teaching, they're denying the rapture and teaching, basically premillennialism. So if the Jesuits created a pre-trip rapture, how does that work? And of course, you want to think of because again, they're claiming that Jesus set up his kingdom on the earth. Okay, here's a verse that kind of makes a problem for that. Uh, John eighteen thirty six. Jesus answered, "My kingdom is not of this world. For if my kingdom were of this world, then would my sermons fight." And then I would be not be delivered to the Jews, but now my, is my kingdom not from hence? What's it talking about here? Well, again, what what's who is Jesus? What well, he is that king? So basically, when it says my kingdom is not of this world, 
basically he, he basically the kingdom was offered to the Jews and they rejected it so that's what it's talking about his kingdom is not of this world so kind of makes a problem for this uh, article and again just how they how they twist Luke chapter 17 ridiculous but again they're denying the rapture how about this one catholicanswers.com or catholic.com and they say here uh, premillennialism you know they're talking about that and they're denying that too the rapture it says premillennials will often give much attention to attention to the doctrine of the rapture according to this doctrine when Christ returns all of the elect who have died will be raised and transformed to a glorious state uh, that's what the Bible teaches along with the living elect and be caught up with Christ uh, that you know they go they go over some of the key texts that we use then Christ will rise first um, pre millennial and they got to talk about and you know, all that stuff and here and here here's what they do here's a strawman argument until the 19th century all Christians agreed that the rapture though it was not called that at the time would occur immediately before the second coming hmm who are they calling Christians They're referring to Catholics and here's another uh, another thing that's kind of should be taken into consideration um, what okay basically if the Bible says one thing and Christians have always believed another what are you going to follow? Me as a Christian, I could care less who came up with what or, or who who said what or what Christians, quote, quote unquote Christians, have always believed. What does the Bible say? If the Bible teaches something contrary to what quote unquote Christians have always believed, I'm going by what the Bible says because Scripture trumps all of it. So, again, the straw man argument of, oh, no Christians ever believed it until the 1800s. Okay, and again, you know. I like one thing that uh, uh, Tim said. He said that you know, what, even even if the rapture was invented in the 1900s. Like, who cares if the Bible teaches it? You go by it. So, I mean, I, I could care less what Christians have always believed. If the Bible teaches teaches something contrary, I'm going by what the Bible says. You know, this position is called the post-tribulational view. And, then, and here's what they say: But in the 1800s, some began to claim the rapture would occur before the period of persecution. Hmm. To all you pre-tribbers out there, just notice that Catholics are using that same argument. But they're denying the rapture. But let me show you some proof on that, because they'll say there's no mention of the rapture. Sorry. No mention of the rapture before 1830. Okay. All you gotta do is just go on Google and just Google the rapture. And go on Wikipedia. And go down here. Pre-tribulationalism traces its roots into in the post-apostolic era as far back as the shepherd of Hermes in 100, 140 AD way before 1830 which alludes to the idea that believers in Christ will not suffer the tribulation suggesting a possible pre-tribulational view so this lie that it was created in 1800 in the 1800s is ridiculous it goes back to 140 AD so don't believe this lie that oh it was it was not started till 1800s no there are people talking about a pre-tribulational view like all, all the way back in the 1800s, they're talking about how we're going to be leaving before this time period. It's ridiculous, but, you know, and again, you know, what does the Bible teach? It, even even if it was only invented in the 1800s, if the Bible teaches it, you go by it. But on to the next site. Do Catholics believe in the rapture? And they have this little picture here of, you know, that. Where does it say... The question happens, or no, actually, they have one part down there. According to Paul, it is appointed quickly as a blink of an eye. And of course, they go back to the Greek and everything. Uh, but again, if you read this article, they're denying the rapture. And they write, you know, they have rapture, you know, quote unquote, obviously implying they're denying the rapture. And they have, uh, the popular answer among evangelicals is that we'll be leaving on the day of the rapture, but this is not what St. Paul thought. They're denying the rapture. On to the last source. And, and it, all you gotta do is just search up Catholic, Catholic rapture, and just, you'll get all these sources. Catholicculture.org. Five myths about the rapture. And they got, you know, myth one, they got other stuff, and, you know, myth two. You know, the rapture, is a bit, the rapture, they myth three. Rapture is a biblical and orthodox belief. They're denying the rapture. Uh, virtually all Christians who take the Bible literally expect to be raptured before the Lord comes in power on this earth. So, and then, you know, they, they quote all these different people from 
they, they, they don't quote any scripture, they just quote people. And uh, in the late 18th century, Baptist minister Morgan Edwards, John Nelson Darby, but it was John Nelson Darby who uh, solidified the belief in the 1830s and placed into a larger theological framework. Again, using this 1830 argument. Go on Google, again, search up the rapture. It's as far back as 140 AD, way before 1830. But again, they're denying the rapture. So if the Jesuits created a pre trip rapture, why are Catholic sources teaching a post trip rapture? kind of a problem there, isn't it? And I just showed you four different Catholic sources that, that are teaching a pre-trib rapture. So, if the Jesuits created it, why is it not being taught by Catholic websites? Because if it was taught, it was created by the Jesuits, it would be official Catholic doctrine, which it's not. So don't believe this lie that it was it's created by the Jesuits. Uh, don't be deceived by this, uh, also this stupid argument of, oh, it's 1830, 1830. No. It goes way back to all the way back to, and that, that's just their earliest known records. I mean, their early Christians believed in the preacher of rapture. Believe me, they did. So, anyway, God bless you. Goodbye.